Hello, hello. All glories to Amrita and Danvantari, the supreme divine healers. So this is a quick intro to integral human specific nutrition. Special considerations part three. So there are three main categories that are important for our nutrition. One being the macronutrients two being the micronutrients and three being the life energy and all of them should be in our food or some adequate supplements if you will so ideally there should be two meals for simplicity and in these two meals, all of these should be included in a good balance. The first meal being mainly based on carbohydrates for energy with enough prana and micronutrients and the second meal, meal basically consisting of amino acids and fatty acids for the building blocks of the body and also a lot of micronutrients so for this we will look at an example of my daily nutrition on the chronometer app and see you there in a moment Rade, rade. so I'd like to continue the video I started about the three main ingredients in nutrition, integral human nutrition, and I've opened my chronometer and we will go through it step by step and see what is there and um, what is not there because not everything is in the app itself so I will tell a little bit about that. So first of all we said the macronutrients. We can have a quick look here. I set a fixed ratio um, in this area here you can see and you can also see where they are coming from so first meal is basically the meal um, which should give us energy so you can see where my energy comes from mainly it comes from bananas 37% uh, then you have pomegranate which is maybe the most excellent fruit on the planet with so many vital substances so good for immunity and so so many wonderful functions you should check it out and then we have here um, it says walnut stores berries and fruits dry fruits um, that's of course not what I'm taking and changing um, the dry fruit or soaked overnight in a little bit of shilajit water which we will explain uh, in a minute and but that is approximately the 13 percent and then interestingly there is also carbohydrates in the avocado which i don't have every day but it, today there was some avocado so we will discuss that when we talk about the fatty acids category and we have himalaya chavan prash i'm not taking himalaya chavan prash but I'm taking three types of Ayurvedic preparations one Shavan Prash, actually two types of different Shavan Prash and also um, Bilva Dileam which I can highly recommend so there the point is that there is a high amount of Amla there is natural sugar and honey in there there is ghee and there are countless herbs and if you combine two of these um, rasayanas or these tonics gems um, you get such an amount of different herbal substances which are boosting the immunity antioxidant or actually oxidizing yeah that is the big misunderstanding not antioxidant but it's oxidizing giving oxygen to the body <clears throat> and we have a special edition it's called Svamala which contains also specially purified ashes of gold silver iron 
and mercury sulfur and something else so which you don't usually get and that brings us to the next point of the micronutrients because um, micronutrients are very deficient nowadays if you look into the statistics even in the last 20 years the vitamins and minerals became so much depleted you're lucky if you get local food from a really really good maybe Demeter organic farm or if you are more lucky directly picked from your garden or living in the tropics where you can pick the fruit from the trees when they are ripe but if not then it, be it fruit vegetables be it salads be it sweet fruit berries whatever is completely depleted of minerals and also the secondary um, substances um, trace elements etc etc so that's why I highly recommend taking this um, extra um, substances and then that brings us to the next extra substance so it's not possible to go into that okay so below the Dolichavan Prash there is the barley grass which is also very excellent both for proteins natural carbohydrates and many many other actually it's not proteins I have to say it's amino acids very wonderful amino acid profile because the human body cannot use proteins directly we will discuss this later on and then we have walnuts which I take a few usually every day sometimes also no walnuts therefore a little bit of um, flax oil we will discuss that later as well then mung bean sprouts they contain also a little bit of um, carbohydrates there and dried figs yeah sometimes dried figs sometimes soaked overnight of course activated with shilajit water so that is the quick overview of my carbohydrates and they are of course not uh, 2629 calories but they are actually oh, actually we should have looked at the carbs <laughs> that was the wrong overview anyway so you see if you look at the carbs um, banana pomegranate berries javan prash then jaggery yeah there is the jaggery that is just basically uh, dried sugar cane which is full of minerals wonderful mineral profile maybe we can have a quick look later on at it um, amazing profile there of minerals very good source of energy as well then we have to fix again um, barley grass, grapefruit juice which I usually use for my salad dressing and ashwagandha root powder actually it's not only ashwagandha we also use shatavari root powder and uh, Ayurvedic mix called Datu Paushitik Jornam which is for rebuilding the tissues it has several roots and plants which are amazing for building the tissues and then again we have the monk spring mung bean sprouts but let us look at the meals in detail so let's uh, quick have a overview look before we do that on the macronutrient profile which is the first category that everyone is interested in so you see this blue category here that's the carbs they are 78% um, of calories from the carbs that's about 2000 calories that is good to get the engine running and then we have this category the fats make up 16% of our calories and the proteins which here in our case come only from direct amino acids directly available uh, that makes also a difference if you have like super clean super profile amino acids directly available amino acids then you need far less protein than if you take complex proteins um, which may be even clogged because they're cooked etc the uh, naturalized um, then you need more and seven percent sounds a little bit not too much but if you look 
there are 58 grams of protein so if my lean body mass is 50 kilos um, unfortunately at the moment um, then it is more than my lean body mass and lean body mass is um, in grams converted in grams would be completely sufficient to build all the muscle that you want on the planet that can be proven if you look at the mother's milk and the percentage of proteins there we don't need to discuss this in detail we already touched on that before so you see interestingly enough it says that 23 percent of my proteins come from the bananas you can be astonished then we have pomegranate which is also interesting 21 percent and then the barley grass and then the spirulina and these are all super excellent sources of protein um, but we will discuss that in detail later so and then we have the fats which come mainly from the avocado this day on other days it would be more coconut olive oil and um, here some walnuts are there and interestingly enough the pomegranate seeds which may not be completely digested um, so it may be a little bit less than it's actually saying here so yeah